Hello and welcome back to my Twitch live streaming of KSV's Hard Career Mode. This video is from the May 24th stream and has been edited for YouTube. Please follow me on Twitch to get notified when I'm streaming. I'm Tyler Ray's there as well. I typically stream on the weekends at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. GMT, and also on Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. GMT. But the time of the next broadcast will be posted in the title on my channel. Now on to my original commentary from May 24th. So, um, I think we need to build a reusable launcher. I think that's the first thing I want to do. We've got a lot of funds now. Not that, I mean, of course, reusable launcher means we're saving funds, so it's not like we're really pressed to do that, but... But I think we're at the point where I can test one and not be too worried about the funds we've, we're have we gonna lose by doing so. And we can see how we can bring it back into... Well, this area here anyway, not the launch pad necessarily, but close enough so that'll be worthwhile. We do need to do some re-entry testing here in uh, Kerbin. We haven't really tried to get stages back to our launch pad. We have to see how to do that. Doing it in career mode is a little bit dicey, but I think, I think we've got enough. We've got enough cash. We might as well. Now, people remind me that I should unlock docking ports to get the station contracts. So I guess there it is. So I'll research this and unlock docking ports. Okay, so build new orbital station around the moon sounds like a thing to do. Let's make sure, oh, research lab at the station. Do we have, have we unlocked research labs? I, I guess we must have, right? Yeah, I think uh, we had a little discussion about how lucrative they are in terms of science. Yeah, we've unlocked it and all. So we've got the research lab. I guess that looks like a good contract. So obviously we haven't done the bot contract yet. Uh, we, I had that probe lose electric charge, but I don't want to immediately do that same thing. I think that's not a good way to go. I like to vary things. So we'll, we'll have other contracts that are interesting here, like Orbit Val. Yeah, I'll take that. And that's got to be active forever. That's a deadline never contract. And uh, I want to get this uh, new orbital station around the moon. So, yeah, I think we've got everything we need there. So that'll be good. Any other station? We don't have a contract for a station around Kerbin, unfortunately. We could take a satellite contract and turn it into a station contract, but that's not the same. Okay, so let's build, let's build ourselves a reusable launcher, and then we'll uh, we'll see how much it can carry up, and then we'll have the station be about that size. Okay, so I'm gonna have a dummy payload here. Well, we need the bigger service bay. That'd be best. Okay, well, our batteries and core is in there. Radio mount parachutes we can have over here. That looks alright. And then struts. Uh, that's too tall, huh? I mean, we don't want this sort of thing tipping... Well, I guess four is about right. We'll have to use radial stuff like this. And then the mainsail down here. These will go like, like so. Oh, we don't have very good landing struts. Uh, we have these. These are our best. I doubt it can't. I mean, it'll stand on the tanks. I don't know if the struts will do anything good for it. We could do with additional... Oh, do we have those? We do have those... Uh, yeah, these tail connectors I always like to use. Well, th these are the ones that are appropriate for this. Maybe I should add those in. How heavy are them? How, how heavy are they? 0. 0.2 tons. Ah, 1.2 tons extra. Maybe for this one we'll pass on those. Just for mass... Mass reasons. That's 1.2 tons of payload we won't be able to take up. Okay, um... I don't think we have enough parachutes on top. We've got 8 there. For 20 tons, 
we'll have to run our engines with just eight parachutes. But then again, if I have the parachutes on top of here, they're going to be in the wrong location. And if I put them up here, they might burn up. Well, they, they might be shielded from by these. Okay, so this is empty right now. This will be the last tank to drain. I'm gonna just fill it up. Oh no, actually the payload is probably heavy enough to simulate the... Oh well, let's dump out the payload's fuel and put in the fuel at the bottom because that's a little bit more like it. Okay, so we'll see how this stands. But actually, the this stage comes down right after one orbit, so it really doesn't need the solar panels. Okay, so 40,000 fun test. Uh, I better not like topple or something. Let's see. Well, it's definitely sitting on the tanks. Yeah, reusable launcher test. Okay. There's no clearance. <laughs> well, I guess that's just gonna ha be, have to be how it is until we unlock bigger landing struts. At least it looks stable without SAS. That's a good sign. Alright, let's recover this. Okay, this has 3,882. 3, so what you guys are telling me is this can get this payload into orbit. Uh, I mean, there's 3,882 minimum because I was using the the surface value. Oh, are, were you are you guys uh, using the surface value for your delta V's or are you using vacuum? When you say 3,500, 3,600, is that using the surface ISP? Okay, throttle is up. SAS is on. We have a nice big reaction wheel, and we might have enough delta V. Let's find out. Okay, throttle those up. If we don't have enough delta V, I can... Uh... Oh, can I pump fuel yet? I didn't even check that. Yes, I can. I can pump fuel from the payload, and then we'll see how much more do we need. Here we go. Ooh, why did we end up a little bit tilted to one side? We might need a little bit more control, we'll see. Okay, I think I'm gonna start rotating too quickly here. This thing does not have too much thrust to weight ratio right now. Uh, your, if you guys have those low delta V's to orbit, you probably have high thrust to weight ratio rockets. That's another thing. I tend to build very low thrust to weight ratio rockets. Okay, well... Just trying to keep it at the top of the prograde vector and to keep it from flipping out because, yeah, we are ascending very slowly here. Redoing, uh, you mean uh, the uh, Realism Overhaul series for 1.0? Yeah, I'm, I'm starting, a, I'll start a new Realism Overhaul series for 1.0. I've already committed to that and I'll be throwing in Kerbal Construction Time and uh, some other Realism mods like Test Flight. And uh, so, yeah, that will happen. And I've, I'm working on a little special because on the YouTube side I'm coming close to 5,000 subscribers and I'm gonna have a little Mars mission for that. I might test that. I didn't, I didn't remember that tomorrow is Memorial Day. I might be testing that tomorrow. Yeah, Mars. Uh, Mars Ascent Vehicle I'm trying to send to Mars and that will be a thing. Uh, the trick is trying to ha have it survive the atmosphere on the way down and get to slow down enough on the on the landing. But it'll be on SLS. I built a replica SLS. I built replicas of all the different versions of SLS that they intend to do. So I've got those already ready. But it'll be KSP and uh, 0.9 because they haven't got real solar system and realism overhaul done for. KSP 1.0 yet. Well, I'm going to boost that apoapsis and then we'll use some of the fuel in the payload to get this actually lower. Um, 
let let's see if it can get into orbit on its own fuel, and then we'll pump the payload uh, pump the payload's fuel back to lower it down. Um, so this probably would have made orbit if I was in a lower orbit. I'm gonna pump fuel down. So let's get into a full orbit, and then I'm gonna drop the apoapsis, and then we'll start a reentry test. Let's go for a hundred kilometers straight. Looks like we can just retroburn directly close to periapsis. Okay, I think I'm gonna test 40. 41. Let's test 41. Uh, let's go for 40. If we end up in the water, that'll be important information anyway. Okay, 40 kilometers exactly. On our apoapsis, 100.87 kilometers. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, uh, we can dispense with the payload. The payload is now empty of fuel. Okay, it's on a re-entry trajectory too, so it's fine. Okay, temperature gauges are disabled because otherwise people will keep telling me about the memory leak. How about tutorials for RSS? Yeah, that, that, that we can do. Um, yeah, uh, once once it's updated, I'll think about that. First, I have to make sure that I can fly things properly in in the new version of FAR in particular. I te I tried out FAR, uh, the new FAR, and uh, flipping happens. <laughs> I was actually only trying it with KOS, uh, so I had KOS fly it because I didn't trust myself to fly it. And even KOS managed to flip out some things. So I'm gonna have to figure out exactly where the flip out limit is on New Far. I mean, this is testing. We're testing, we're actually, what we're doing, doing right now, uh, PL Spirit, is we're testing a reusable launcher. And we're actually testing the survivability of the launcher and also getting data on, uh, on trajectories. So we're seeing how far off this will be. At uh, We started at uh, 100 kilometers orbit and we had a periapsis of 40 kilometers and we're gonna see where we end up and my expectation is this this is gonna be an upper bounds so it's not going to be higher than 40 kilometers that's my expectation yeah I if I had air brakes I would have tossed those on too I could bring my orbit in of course I've got engine power and fuel but I want to see where this ends up so I'm deliberately not using thrust to try and get close to the KSC because I want to see where it ends up. I also want to see where it survives water. And I wanted to stage the parachutes in two separate stages, so let's do that. Okay, here we go over the water. We are probably not going to make it to the next peninsula. But we'll see. That's more of a question about whether anything blows up. Things are looking quite hot right now. If we take uh, this overlay, uh, it's still yellow hot, not quite white hot yet. Please tell me you don't intend to land successfully in the ocean. Of course I do. What are you talking about? Or more correctly, we're seeing whether this can land successfully in the ocean. Well, it certainly passed its initial test, which is whether it can survive re-entry. That's fine. Yeah, I guess place your bets. First set of parachutes. Out. Landing gear down. SAS off. You see my vids, so yeah. Well, I don't know. I failed half the time on those. I mean, colonization series, I failed quite a lot of the time.
Okay, we look like we're straight up and down. SAS on. Yep, plenty of drags and over overheating. Okay, let's throttle. That's that's the secret, right? We've got a lot of fuel left over. We'll see whether three point well, let's say three meters per second is good. Uh are you gonna tip? Doesn't look like it's gonna tip. Alright, recover. So, reusable launcher, check. Okay, 85% or so, and not bad. Uh, we'll do it better the next time. You're sad now. Well, heck. Destruction will happen. Okay, we can go to calmer music now. Oh, this one. We're gonna do some building of our... Oh, let's save this. Okay, subassembly. So, um, I don't know. Let's just call it main sail. SSDO dash R. Save. Okay. So that's that. Well, we're not building a really complicated station because I don't have the big docking port. I've got this docking port. And so I'm not intending to make this a huge station. This is like, this is like Skylab. This is like the start. I mean, uh, this is not a... This is not going to be a permanent fixture kind of thing. Because uh, we don't have the large docking ports yet. And we'll have lights. We need lights. Let's attach the lights to the... Like that. It's not going to be the most aerodynamic sort of thing. No, that's not what I want to do. Okay, what color should our station be? In terms of lighting. You're fond of color blue? Okay, first suggestion goes. Let's have it, let's see. That's a good station blue, I think. Let's tone down the intensity of it. Okay. Some lights up at the docking port. Yeah. Let's have really long range lights for that and just two of them. Okay, so now, 6.7 tons, that's well under the total capacity for this, but we've got a problem, we need to transfer this to the moon. Yeah, I could use SRBs to increase the capacity of the launcher, except our launcher, attaching SRBs, I, it'd be an interesting place. I guess we'd have to attach six to the booster, uh, to the, to the outside tanks, the proton-ish tanks, if you will, below the tanks. Ah, yeah, you're right. Below the tanks could work. Do we think this will be enough and the mainsail won't torch these guys? I'm surprised those LFO tanks don't overheat from the main... No, they don't. Not even close, actually. Uh, okay, overheat, overweight here. We've, we're uh, over mass. Okay. No, this isn't really an option. Oh, right, right, right. You're right. Raven Knight, thank you. There we go, okay. Uh, but our booster situation is not good. Because uh, that will get us over mass. Okay, so I'm gonna dump... Let's, let's get to 11 tons here. And I want to see what kind of Delta V I have here now. What altitude do I want the station at? Don't really care right now. Uh, we want to get it into lunar orbit. That's the thing. We need to get it into lunar orbit. Any lunar orbit we find, we'll just dock something up with it with fuel in order to boost it to or drop it to whatever altitude we want it. All right. Well, let's try it out. We've got the buffer. Let's just try it out. Okay, SAS on, throttle up, and we go.
flees with reduced fuel? I don't know. Uh, maybe we might have to. Oh, this thing is not behaving well. It's, it's, it's shaking a bit. It's very jittery. We'll have to see how short we are, and at that point, we'll decide whether we need the fleas or or uh, whatever booster. I think the contract's worth it. Okay, hopefully this steeper ascent. Oh boy, we've got wiggles. We've got wiggles. I said hopefully this steeper ascent will keep us closer to prograde vector, so it's more efficient. But. You've got instabilities. Oh wow, oh wow, oh, didn't like that. Let's throw down a little bit. We should be past the atmosphere. Don't wiggle out so much. Okay, let me take a look at what our orbit looks like. Okay, and cut. Uh, couple node. There it goes. Okay, works out fine. So this bay looks a bit dodgy. Okay, you, you think that was the problem? I don't know. Oh, maybe that one. Oh, this one down here, maybe. Yeah. I have no idea how much delta V this has left with that little liquid fuel. But we're about to find out whether it can get into orbit. Well, there shouldn't be any clipping. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Oh dear. Oh, it, it, it clipped with the parachutes, was it? Oh, that, that looks bad. The service bay totally came loose and now the batteries and it's just a service bay. The batteries inside are are still attached properly. Okay, well, so noted. I did not expect that. Okay, we need to start out here now. You think F3? Let me uh, stop that for a sec because we're going a little bit high. Nothing on F3. Nope, it is a real glitch. It is not uh, It is not a case of part decomposition or whatever you want to call it. Okay, well, let's see if we should have used the flea for this. Oh wow, oh it's 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 glitching. It's really glitching. Oh boy. I think the launch is just going to come down wherever it comes down at this point. I'm going to use all of its fuel. Okay, that's probably not orbit. We're going to use the payloads. Oh wait, it's 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 got a it's got a low periapsis. Okay, the payload will do the rest of the business. Okay, throttle this down, separate and ignite. Open and close it. That's an interesting suggestion. Let me get this into orbit first. Ah, uh, this does not have a high thrust to weight ratio at all. Oh, uh, oh yeah, I dumped a little bit. Oh darn, we might not have enough. We'll see. Okay, well this is in orbit. Let's get back. Oh, let's uh turn on the lights and extend the solar panels. Okay, that's good. Let's see about this fellow. Now you say open and close it. Well, let's, I can't see how it could get any worse, so. It's open. It is closed. 
Correct, Pro Santos. You had the right answer. Okay. So that that uh, chaos is fixed. So we can't control what, where this is gonna come down. We're just gonna take it wherever we can get it. Hopefully it's not mountains. That's one thing it can't survive. Water would be best. Okay, well this is the atmosphere. Unfortunately we'll be in the dark. Aren't the tanks rated for 12 meters per second? Well, there's the tanks and there's the joints. And all the rest of it. <laughs> yes, yes I like this. Well, we'll see what kind of a test we're going to be doing. I don't even know what kind of a test we've got here. Okay, I'm going to turn on this overlay just so we can see it. Trajectories mod just got updated. Well, of course, this isn't a modded install. Um, as far as what I'll be using trajectories for, we'll see. I still haven't reconciled myself with it. It's meant to work with FAR? Well, we'll see. I mean... Trajectories mod always said it worked with far, and I haven't really seen that yet. So we'll see whether it works with far or not. New far, right? Okay, no idea where we're landing. Okay, first volley of parachutes. Come on, parachutes. Okay, full parachute deployment. We are over land. Just not very high land. SAS is on. Patiently waiting for touchdown here. I'll check out the link in this. Well, I'll probably check it out after the stream, but I'll get it in a separate window. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh... Oh? Okay, it looks like our landing gear re uh, buckled on one side, but the thing is stable. Okay, we're recovering vessel. Okay, unfortunately we landed, like, as far away from KSC as we could. But we didn't have any control over that. Anyway, back to our mission. Okay, well, we might not have enough Delta V with this thing. Let's try and get the most efficient transfer I can. We need at least one end low. And the reason for that is because then the moon's gravity will help us out. You congratulate me though, thank you. And better than nothing on the recovery, indeed. Well, I'd, I'd say the, the program is proceeding apace. We can we can make improvements upon it. We had requirements for this contract that uh, made it hard to recover it. You really don't think this thing has 800? Well, we burned so much to get to orbit. Uh, let's check. You've got 1,129. So, yep. Yeah, we have it. It's just a little bit tight. Getting into lunar orbit should be easier with a high periapsis. I know that's not true with Earth's moon. I really haven't seen much difference when it comes to uh, Kerbin's moon. Now Earth's moon is a much bigger... Yeah, I know slowing down at the moon costs only about 250, which means we have 29 meters per second spare. <laughs> that's 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 close in my book. We're about to find out how this works. Uh, I forget how much the contract costs. I hope it's enough to cover a second launch if it becomes necessary. Timing, uh, timing will give you 5 to 10 meters per second, uh, which in this case might be super important actually. Refueler can happen. Yeah, that can happen. Yeah, you're right. Uh, it wouldn't be any good to launch a second one. We just launch a refueler. 
I'm just gonna go with my experience and say I want a low periapsis here. Let's let's go with this. Okay, how much do we have left? 276. Thrust weight of the station is currently should be uh, six eighths. Was that uh, 0.75? But earlier it was like 0.5. Okay. Anyway, heading out to Moonar SOI. Okay, so, well, fairly nice and equatorial. Nice location altogether. That's, that's orbit already. It only took 80, actually. This would satisfy the contract, but let's get into a tight orbit. Ah, we, we, we've got a nice, see, get low over the moon. Low over the moon is good. Low over the moon works out. Why did I not put any reaction wheels? Did I just forget? No. But the payload mass, we already have the tight margin as it is. Uh, I only put what was actually required. I, I guess the service bay really wasn't required. I should have done without the service bay. I just wanted to protect the batteries. Um, the lights, of course, don't have much mass. Probe in the service bay, correct. The probodobodyne octo and its batteries are in the service bay. But otherwise, just docking ports, solar panels, lights are the one amenity, and uh, we needed room for five Kerbals, so the hitchhiker storage container and the lab, they required the lab, uh, were the obvious ones. You're getting memory leaks even with unmodded install and nothing you can do about it. Well, that's strange. I've never had memory leaks with the stock game until, I mean, I sort of see it with the with the temperature gauges, but not much. But my computer is strange. It gets it has problems when other computers don't have problems, and it uh, it's all right when other computers aren't all right. So it's like that. All right. Now, just for you know, we picked up an orbit val contract, and we still have the explore bop contract as well. But let's head back to the space center and see what's. What's up?